Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel, guys. So today we're talking about vinyl wraps. And I'm gonna be putting a vinyl wrap on my bonnet because I don't have enough money to get painted at the moment. This vinyl wrap is an eBay special, 25 quid. I was gonna chat, chat to the guy that runs my a local shop business that does vinyl wrap, so I was gonna take it down there, but I just don't have the money. I just realized I don't have the money. It's gonna cost more, isn't it, to get someone to do it for you. So I've just, bought it myself i bought the cheapest that you can buy like a satiny satiny i think it's like a 4d one and i'm probably going to balls up the install as well because i have no um expertise in this so my advice is if you're going to do it properly and you want a really nice looking vinyl wrap consider going to a local company <laughs> Um, so for me, it's going to be on here for a few months and I'm just going to rip it off when I get it resprayed. So I'm going for the cheapo option. What do you need? Well, you need obviously the vinyl wrap. You get a one of these little felt squidgies with it. You don't want to just use a bit of plastic because that will scratch the, the wrap. So a felt squidgy, not that I'm an expert, but I, I've put vinyl things on before a few times. And these are some of the things I've noticed. You need like a little craft tool. I'm just using a razor blade, which isn't as good but I just, it's what I've got in my garage. Uh, I've washed this, this hood before in preparation. I'm just giving it one more quick wash and rinse. I've also clayed it with the mitt before. I might just go over it. Uh, no, it's, it's decontaminated. So you want it clean and decontaminated. Once I've washed this and rinsed it and dried it, I'll probably just go over it here with um, IPA and water. Uh, about 30% IPA water and a little bit of APC, about 2.5% APC roughly. And I've got a bucket of shampoo in here that I can just use underneath this, you know, some water and shampoo. Do not use a shampoo and wax or anything like that when you're cleaning it. Just use a pure shampoo just so it's wet underneath and I can move it around. And I've also got a hairdryer over here so that once I've got it in position, I can squeegee it out and then the hairdryer will help dry the kind of adhesive under here and make it stick. What are the problems I'm going to face? This I'm going to struggle, I've got to take these off, um, these little washer jet things. I'm just going to struggle with this, there's a, there's a black grid on the other side and I should really remove that black grid and then <laughs> it's just I'm never going to be able to do this properly, this is an absolute friggin nightmare this thing so all I'm going to do is just slip down it and just cut it out as best I can. And it's gonna look budget, it's gonna look crap. Um, it'll be very difficult to do that grill properly. The other problem, not so much of a problem, I've just gotta tuck it in here. I've got all this silicon crap that I've gotta scrape out before I go in. Uh, I've gotta get, take these little, actually it doesn't matter, I can vinyl over the top of those because the badge is gonna stick over the top and hide all that. So you, you probably want to consider taking those little plastic bungs out. They're a little bit stuck in. Um, you also want to clean underneath the engine bay with a little brush. Um, and once you've cleaned it and rinsed it, you probably want to use your, your degreaser under there as well, because you're going to be pulling, you know, you're going to be cutting some excess off and then sticking it down the vinyl wrap to the, to the other side. Um, you could even roll it kind of right the way around. But, like I say, for me, this is going to be on the car for probably a few months. <laughs> be like 10 years later and it'll still be there. And it's not going to be great. But let's get it done anyway. Uh Let me get you on camera moaning. Let me get you on camera. I knew that would get her away. She's moaning about the size of the eggs I bought now. Jesus Christ. Right. So can you see what I'm doing? 
Yes, you can. Okay. So I'm just gonna pop this up here. This is where you need two people, really, isn't it? Let's just. I want this all nice and slippy and skiddy so it doesn't stick down initially. To your party, I come all over to your party, but I'm so Get in there. Get in there. Big air bubble at the middle, but that's great. I'll pop that out later on. I've got to work. So this is half decent. It's got some creases I've got to work out now. So I'm going to do that. There's not a single day that passes without you on my mind. Not even one minute can end up before you come around. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm all done. Um, this was only supposed to take an hour. I must have been in here at least four hours. Um, how did it go? It was a major pain in the ass. What have I learned? If you're gonna do vinyl wrap on your hood, have someone else there to help. Um, don't use little scalpel blades, get a little knife that you can do with. Um, 
once you get it in position first, when it's wet, you can get it into position. But I realise now it needs to be kind of dry if you're going to kind of pull it over the edges, which is when you seem to get that nice finish, like you heat it up and then pull it over and then sort of pull out the um, air bubbles. Kind of try and get a good place in the middle first. You know, get it in the right place and then work your way outwards. What, generally, it's okay, you know, it's, it's gone on okay, but if I really, like, show you some bad bits, um, there's like little creases here. This was an absolute pig. Getting it around this bit here, there's creases. Um, it was just, it's kind of really trying to stretch it and heat it up and get it over. It was a nightmare. And also, I had to just do a little cut down here because it, it was too much slack. Yeah, you can't really see it. Um, so it's kind of okay. This is a disaster as well because this I did at the end and when I came to do it I thought there's no way I'm going to try and cut around all, all of these and put them in because it will just take hours and the thing's only going to be on for a couple of months so I just pulled it off, uh, popped these back on, they're now working. So it just kind of from a distance looks kind of half decent. Would I do a vinyl wrap again? Um, if I wanted to do it properly, I would take it to a shop, definitely. Um, I just don't have the skill. I, th I think I'd get better. Next time I'd be a bit better. Uh, it's okay, but I, to solving things like that, that would be an absolute nightmare to try and cut that out. It would be an absolute nightmare. You're probably better off cutting it in advance um, or getting some sort of template. Just that would be horrendous. Um, so either way, what do you think? Looks kind of half decent, doesn't it? Got the new badge on there. I've got some cheap eBay grills coming that are going to hide all these kind of bits. Um, all in all, it's kind of okay. Got most of the air bubbles out. The more I look at it, the more bubbles I'll find. But um, much better than silver. It actually kind of looks kind of mean, I think, guys. So, uh, yeah, kind of half happy. I've enjoyed doing it, as always. But next time, if I want it done properly, I'll pay... A professional but I just don't have the money so um, hopefully in a few months time I'll have enough money to get some areas of the car repainted and in the meantime it just won't look so blatantly obvious that I've got a bonnet from a scrap one sitting on top of it so uh, <laughs> from a scrapyard banger to boy racer mobile but I love it great little car um, okay guys thanks for watching I'll see you later bye for now